Hey friends, my name is Melissa. I'm one of the founders of Soltara and I want to wish you a warm welcome to our beautiful community. Our goal here is to foster open dialogue and create a safe space for you to learn, heal, connect, and share your processes with each other. So with that in mind, I posed a question to our community and that is, what does letting go mean to you? And what are some of the things that help you do that on a daily basis? This question in particular holds a lot of meaning for us because our center's name, Soltara, comes from the Spanish verb soltar, which means to let go or release. So I invite you to take a look at what our community has to say about it. Maybe it can help you frame your own perspective, um, and we'd love to have you join in on the conversation. Now, Piper, we're, we're doing a video blog on letting things go. So here, here's this ball. I'm going to give it to you. So, what does letting go mean to me? Uh, great question. Letting go. Letting go. So, for me personally, it means a lot of things, but I think ultimately it means letting go of all these identities and labels that I place on myself, that I place on people around me, that I place on places that I'm at, you know, just basically that I place on life. You are not your goals, your job your relationships, your life experiences. I guess for me it's it's a uh, it's more of uh, getting to a realization after some struggle, um, some compromise. First letting go of uh, fear and um, of just the unknown uh, situations I can't control. It's really just accepting uh, the it, the, the circumstance, the outcome. And responding versus reacting to anything that may be happening without judging it good or bad. I think that letting go means uh, accepting that both the negative and the positive are impermanent. It's a matter of trusting that Everything that we want and need is going to happen and we need to let go of all these assumptions and expectations and and just just experience the moment for what it is um, and experience life for what it's giving me instead of me trying to mold it to whatever I think it needs to be or want it to be. Words used to describe this process sound so easy like it's an act of easy relaxation akin to putting down some heavy bags of shopping and giving your tired muscles a moment of respite. But it's not. Not for me, it's not. For me, letting go is an act of willpower. How do I try to let go? Sounds pretty simple, but... Um... Nah, not a simple answer. And it's really fucking hard. <laughs> it's definitely not easy. It's hard. It's very difficult. <laughs> but it's absolutely necessary and and it's all up here and it's all in your control it brings me back to uh, my first ayahuasca ceremony where i was called to let go but the harder i tried and the more i wanted to let go the harder it was to do it there's, there's many ways you can let go so how do i let go on a daily basis i don't always i just have to be very mindful um, and and practice, practice it a lot. The yin form of yoga? Uh, my meditation practice definitely. Cook for the ones that I love. A bath meditation. And of course, my beloved psychedelic allies. I guess the easiest one that anyone can do is just to breathe. Not, not from the chest, but from the diaphragm, deliberately from the diaphragm. If I have trouble letting things go, I'll go and write it all out. I'll write it all down. Yeah, I think it's something more like sleeping, where you kind of just have to let it happen. Your internal dialogue can be really loud and sometimes doesn't shut up. And sometimes you have to remind yourself that you don't have to be thinking about whatever crazy thought pattern you've found yourself on. And it's like, oh, oh yeah, okay, that's not important. So separating the important from the unimportant. Uh, so things like for me, thinking about my goals, thinking about my passions. Sometimes you tell yourself that you're letting go, you're moving on, um, or you, your ego kind of tricks you into accepting it, and you truly have not uh, accepted it if it, just, if it just keeps coming up. I need to be kind to myself. 
I need to slow down. Those beliefs that I might have formed about myself on the basis of other people's words and actions aren't mine. And so I wrap them up in a beautiful box and beautiful wrapping paper and tie pretty bows, all figuratively, of course. And uh, I give it back to them, but I give it back to them with gratitude. I thank them for giving me the opportunity to carry it for them. We tend to find people and when we meet them, they become defined as who they are. And we have a little box that's shaped as that person. Um, and letting go is also recognizing that those people are fluid. Some of these issues of attachment uh, and, and letting go and, and freedom from expectation are things that I still struggle with and that I'm still constantly relearning. So to some extent, letting go is also accepting of a le accept acceptance of a lesson that the universe is I feel trying to um, get to us. Any time that I can really just, you know, submerge myself in nature and be surrounded by things that are greater than myself, it kind of reinforces the fact that, you know, I'm not my I, I'm I'm not a female only. I'm not just Megan. I'm not just a daughter. I'm just I'm a soul. I'm a light. I'm all these other things that are just much bigger than any identity I could ever create for myself. Because once you let go of yourself, you're nothing. And once you're nothing, you're everything. And you are everyone. And you have a universe inside of you. Wow, some beautiful insights there. I want to thank everyone who shared their thoughts and sent in a video. I invite you to check out our page, join our community, check out our Facebook group, and let us know what it is that you're curious about or what you're struggling with um, or what's on your mind and we'll figure this out together. <laughs> Welcome to Soltara.